ஓகே வணக்கம்பா வெல்கம் குட் மார்னிங் ஆஃப்டர் வீக் பிரேக் சாரி ஆஃப்டர் வீக் அண்ட் பிரேக் வணக்கம் சுவாதி கிருஷ்ணா ஐஸ்வர்யா அண்ட் ஹரீஷ் பிரசாந்த் நிதிஷ் ஸ்ரீராம் வைதீஷ் மாதவ் வெல்கம் ஆமா ஆடிபிள் பா கேக்குதா வெரும் <laughs> Uh, feeling difficult to uh, collect the materials for studying okay <laughs> everywhere uh, some sort of difficulties okay pa ya nare per je irundanga they many left also okay in another about uh, how much time left yeah one minute left mm-hmm. let us wait for that time uh, to again can uh, always to recollect uh, in the last class we were seeing about Uh, the role of humidification in uh, uh, the cooling process especially in the, the major industrial aspect is the cooling tower of course cooling tower is a very important uh, what is called as a utility in any power plant not only in power plant in uh, in chemical industries also it's very common uh, wherever any exothermic uh, industry uh, reaction is there or any cooling is involved uh, definitely there is a need for cooling tower Uh, of course you, uh, you know how the uh, cooling is happening uh, we uh, we started the discussion we'll uh, in today's class we'll see how uh, this uh, thing is happening in elaborate way that is we'll try to compare uh, the two forms of uh, cooling what is called as uh, uh, natural uh, this uh, easiest way to understand is a sensible cooling that is simply uh, whenever you want to cool something you can circulate around uh, the object with some co- uh, cold water so that is capable of uh, taking the heat the another thing is Uh, what is called as the, another nice mechanism what is evaporative evaporative cooling that is what is happening in this mud pot or uh, what is it uh, this cooling tower hmm? okay that we are uh, this we are going to see uh, in a elaborate way. little little elaborate but of course more, more detailed explanation will be there in your uh, course what is called as mass transfer in the topic of humidification and uh, very important application of this humidification uh, or the humidity terminology is also to understand the another a very important process what is called as drying drying of chemicals no uh, of course you know what is the need for drying of a chemical uh, and also what else uh, even uh, you know the uh, role of uh, humidification in this uh, air conditioning uh, yeah and uh, of course it is a natural process happening in, uh, every day and we are uh, understanding it and using it for our applications okay there is nothing great uh, we are uh, try to observe the nature and uh, engineer that okay there is a thing of uh, there is a thing we are practicing in our chemical industry okay let me see how many are available about 32 students uh, i think i have to uh, occasionally take attendance in the start of the class also hmm? then only people will cha- join in the correct time uh because uh, after about two days of break and uh, monday join morning at 8 30 class you have start 8 30 to 9 30 you have attended uh, and uh, another 10 minutes break which is good amount no uh, for uh, the next class so definitely i will uh, i'm just uh, taking attendance now hmm? that's a better way to start with uh, till then about another about 15 another about 20 students are to join okay let me call the students by name in this register number order starting from oh uh, let me see aditya no supposed to be uh, yeah aditya rs sir present sir yeah welcome and for simplicity you can also uh, yeah, rename yourself in this register number followed by uh, your name register number uh, two do you two digit register number no not the full full number uh, maybe i will uh, today is uh, ninth class supposed to be uh yeah today still we are in the month of may 31st uh oh my second hour aditya rs present aditya yes present sir welcome uh, abhishek abhishek uh, not uh, achutan yes sir. present Avail- sir yeah available abhishek also available huh? let me see yes sir ah nice one thank you 
uh, yeah for simplicity all of you please rename yourself in such a way that it is register number followed by your name that's a easy way to uh, check also without uh, even uh, without uh, if you if you could not uh, call back also at least i can check your address aishwarya s yes, 2002 Uh, yeah, welcome. Uh, Aishwarya, yes, two thousand three. Present, sir. Welcome. Uh, Ambika. Present, sir. Welcome. Amit Varshini. Present, sir. Okay, Amit Varshini. Uh, uh, where is this Kom River ending? Where is the ending of Kom River and origination of Kom River? This is a question I asked in the last class, no? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, I think uh, it ends in uh, Chamber Makam Lake, sir. No, no, it can. It cannot end in this. Uh, uh, Ending lake, Chamara Magal Lake. No, it's a bad water lake. Not bad water. Actually, starting from a good source. Uh, normally, these rivers are ending in sea. So, where is this? Uh, where is this Kom River ending? And where is it originating? Hmm? Yeah, another about two three minutes, sir. You can uh, Google and let me know. Arvind, okay, yeah, Arvind, then. Present, sir. Welcome, Ashwin Kumar. Present, sir. Uh, Darmesh Kumar from Jansi. What about uh, Dravya Devi? Dravya Devi. Present, sir. Okay, Mama. Gautam, yes. Present, sir. Welcome. Geeta Subramani. Present, sir. Yes, I am attaching Subramani. Yes, uh, correct, sir. Mama, Geeta Subramani. Yes, sir. Ah, nice. Yes, you only said about this in your uh, introduction also. Thank you. And uh, Jafrin. Present, sir. Okay. Moktika. Present, sir. Uh, Harish. Uh, Already five minutes. Mm. Present, uh, sir. Yeah, Harish, present. Okay, Harsha. Harsha present, Mahan. sir. Yeah, right. Hemant. Present, sir. Uh, Jalasri, Jalasri. Present, sir. Jungle pet. Nice. Uh, Janarth. Present, sir. Jayasri. Present, sir. Super. Uh, Madhav. Present, sir. Madhav. Madhav, where are you from? Come here. Alpakum, sir. Alpakum. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, uh, in the last class we also started discussing about cooling tower. Uh, you said about uh, any uh, give any reply, no? Uh, Madhav, cooling tower. Pating lapa just in the recent time. Sir? In the recent time, uh, yeah. did you watch this? Uh, seeing seeing the any cooling tower in your locality? No, oh, sir. Hey, yeah, unga. Is it available? Ah, available. At least yeah, can, uh, from your terrace itself, you can see, no? हाउस ऑफ टेरेस ऑफ दी वर्कर्स ना इल्ले सर रंबा दो रंग सर दो रंग लगलो पागल लड़ी पे पार है उन्हें प्रश्न नहीं है लिया ना नो फियर अबाउट रेडिएशन यू नो एक्चुअली दिस इन कंपैरिसन टू रेडिएशन ऑफ दिस न्यूक्लियर पावर प्लांट्स रेडिएशन फ्रॉम दिस थर्मल पावर प्लांट्स आर कोल बेस्ड पावर प्लांट इज आल्सो हायर कैन एनी ऑफ यू से द रीजन फॉर दैट अरवेस आई एम सेइंग लाइक दिस रेडिएशन रेडिएशन मींस न्यूक्लियर रेडिएशन ऑफ कोर्स यू मे थिंक वेयर इज दिस न्यूक्लियर कमिंग फ्रॉम दिस कोल But uh, you uh, get the reason for that. Uh, in comparison to the nuclear radiation from this nuclear power plants, uh, this radiation is also there in coal-based power plants. Huh? Is it going to answer? So long, Parath Tanja. Okay, Michael. Present, sir. Michael. Mohan. Present, sir. Ditis. Present, sir. Okay. Uh, then uh, Chaitanya. Present, sir. Purnima. Present, sir. Priya Vadana. Present, sir. Ragul, welcome. Yes, sir. Uh, Sandhya, yes. Present, sir. Santos, GDB. Present, sir. From Kalakurchi, no? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, where are you now? In Kalakurchi or Chennai? No, sir. Now in Chennai. Sir. Chennai only. Okay. We'll make a trip to Kalakurchi. I am planning for uh, this making uh, in uh, trip in Kal Kalvarayan Hills, no? nearby. Okay. Where are you going? Kalvarayan Hills. Ah, yes, sir. Where are you going? Ah, in in what in the area are you going? Kalvarayan Hills. सीरियस ना हो गया सर रोमांस नहीं पूछा ना हो गया सीरियस बट देन देन डेफिनेटली विल मेक इट सो हाँ राइट ओके राइट सरत कुमार प्रेसेंट सर सत्या साय अक्षता प्रेसेंट सर वेलकम शिवा संभुगम प्रेसेंट सर शिवा संभुगम नमः इंदौर से नपा पुदुकोटे या नो सर नागर कोई नागर कोई लोग ओके यार वो पुदुकोटे पाया है ना मैं तो लड़ने से राइट है यार पापु पुदुकोटे वो इस पुदुकोटे मीनार सुंदर मार्च है यार राइट ये लांडे द पले नेम आर का सिवसन मुगम मीनार सुंदर लाला पले नेम लिया मार्ग ट्रेडिशनल नेम्स ये लांडे कोरी ने मारे आये मटाच थैंक यू मीनार सुंदर ओके � Present, sir. Uh, Sivasubramanian. Present, sir. Sonika. 
Present, sir. Golden, huh? Sri Varsani. Present, sir. Welcome from Tarmapuri. Huh? Swati Krishna. Present, sir. Perungudi. Huh? Perungudi. Na pagdala mountain lang ipatay lang ba? Yeah, there is What's near. It? Mountain near this Perungudi, no? You know this. Yes, there sir. Is, right. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, Swetha. Present, sir. Tarun Kumar. Present, sir. Devya. Present, sir. Umaya. Umaya, karay kuri. Alia ma? Sir. Andi tige. Huh? Check mani ralek. Uh, Present, sir. Uh, okay ma, thanks. Uh, then uh, Vaidis. Present, sir. Vaidis, where are you from, pa? So Gudu and Jerry, sir. Oh, Gudu and Jerry. Nice, nice. Ada na Gudu and Jerry, yar kono native place kida, alia? Where is your native? Your parents la? ஜ <laughs> uh definitely i will say from uh, thoothukudi hmm? okay pa uh, uh, vaisnavi present sir varsha present sir varshini present sir varun varun okay vivekananda from sivagasi vivekananda from sivagasi na pa ah uh, yes sir say right vidya present sir vignesh present sir guru present sir yokesh uh, sorry yokesh Yukesh, Tanapa. Yukesh. Present, sir. Welcome. Okay. Huh? Uh, uh, we have spent more time on the attendance taking itself. This is because class attendance is not going to be able to do it. First, last, last, I will ask you to take up a quiz. Hmm? Uh, to the extent possible, we will try to follow, follow the class. If you could not uh, follow the attend the class, at least uh, there, will be a, there is always a recording and uh, you can make, make use of it. Of course, this attendance uh, won't make any much impact in your uh, final school, uh, grading. Uh, but still, uh, uh, to make this uh, class to be lively and uh, to, uh, dis- to check your understanding, I, I need to uh, uh, make you be available. Okay. Uh, well, let me share the screen so that... Okay, today we are going to see about this uh, topic, nice topic, which is humidification, uh, which is having a great role in chemical industry. Hmm? Uh, of course, it's a very important thing in power plants, thermal power plants, but in chemical industry also, it's having a great role because uh, all these chemical plants involve definitely usage of cooling water, not only cooling water, sometimes they also use refrigerated water, what is called as a chilled water. Uh, because most of the time the reactions are exothermic uh, and these exothermic reactions we need to have uh, definitely the heat con- uh, is it, uh, temperature control for that we need to have yeah, circulating water and the circulating water again uh, after it is taking the heat it has to be uh, reduced to its original temperature uh, for that uh, how do we do we will simply circulate uh, pass the water through this cooling tower and i will show you that uh, figure yeah nice figure is available here Uh, uh, thanks to uh, Sri Varsani for uh, bringing out this terminology cooling tower. Yeah, of course, I, I was asking this question and many of you, are, yeah, many of you were also trying to uh, bring out the answer. Okay, ma, thanks. And uh, this, how this co- cooling is happening? Let us try to understand this. Of course, other terminology and uh, whatever the simple definitions are all, you can easily go through. Uh, I need not want to uh, elaborate on that aspect. Hmm? Uh, Whereas uh, this understanding of the concept, how, the, how it is happening, uh, let, us, let us try to understand it. And again, uh, to recollect uh, what is happening in this hour, uh, uh, yeah, this is also uh, relevant to humidification. Uh, yeah, we'll come to this terminology again. So what is happening in the mud part and uh, this uh, silver part, no? Uh, steel part. Uh, so the, and also, you, you know, this uh, difference of uh, this temperature in the summer will be much uh, appreciable, appreciable. Otherwise, uh, this, uh, uh, this steel part water may be around some 35 degrees Celsius, whereas here you will see like uh, some 28 degrees Celsius. You will see definitely the water is chilled in comparison to the steel, the steel part. Whereas the same thing, if you uh, notice in, your, uh, in cold weather, like uh, in the winter season, winter season, if you try to take the water from uh, either uh, mud part or from the steel part, uh, you won't see any appreciable difference. 
Uh, you know, can, I, can, I, can any of you see the re uh, reason for that? Say the reason for that. Why this? Uh, why there is no appreciable uh, difference in temperature between the two in the winter, whereas there is an appreciable difference in the summer season. Uh, I think many of you may be trying. Uh, any, you can also type in the chat. Uh, you know, we can have some uh, kind of discussion. Otherwise, in a problem better, I can have a recorded uh, content and make it available also. Uh, initial classes at least. Uh, let us, because I need to understand your learning and your understanding. Okay, uh, of course, that question is having a connection. Maybe I will, uh, you can expect this kind of question in your uh, test. Okay, uh, maybe it will be a kind of multiple answer or uh, uh, this one line answer or one word answer. That kind of questions will be there in the test. Uh, at least for having a weightage of about 40 uh, percentage. Of course, uh, uh, it is to be decided, but I am uh, tentatively it is 40 percent weightage for the, the MCQ aspect of uh, this test, which is coming up on uh, coming uh, Sun Monday. Okay, we will uh, see the reason for that shortly. Before that, oh, uh, this hey, repeat what was the question? Ah, I will. I will tell you. I will tell you. Uh, see, the question is nice, uh, simple only. In the summer, okay, we, we have this uh, mud pot and uh, steel pot, and you can uh, say, uh, take the water, and uh, after about uh, two, three hours, you will see that uh, this uh, water in this uh, steel pot is almost uh, like you say, if, uh, the water is carried so 35 degrees Celsius, and uh, water uh, in this uh, mud pot will be uh, somewhere around some 28 degrees Celsius, or at least about some 5 degrees Celsius lesser in the summer so in the summer the difference is much better whereas in the winter season if you see the difference uh, say winter the, the steel part may be around some 30 degrees celsius and it may be only about 29 or so the, otherwise the difference won't be uh, won't be any appreciable amount can you say the reason for this pa question is uh, is the question clear now are you able to or uh, select yes, out? Yes. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, uh, no need to worry. Now we'll uh, if you go through these contents, you can definitely answer that. Uh, we'll continue and we'll try to answer that also in another uh, topic. Okay, uh, of course today itself we'll finish that. Uh, yeah, the question is in the what is happening in the cooling tower? Or is cooling tower? What is happening in the cooling tower is also as similar, uh, nothing but the large scale uh, way of cooling happening in, in the industry. Whereas mud pot cooling, if you can understand, you can easily understand this cooling tower. So what is happening? This uh, water from the pores, it is going out and uh, and it is going to, uh, what is it? Mix with the air, surrounding air. Or is, water is vaporizing and it is available in the form of vapor in the uh, surrounding air. So for its vaporization, what is happening? It is uh, simply taking the energy from this water itself. There, is, uh, there, is a, uh, there should be loss of uh, latent heat of evaporation, then only the water can vaporize. Otherwise, you have to sub support, supply the energy. So the energy, uh, water is already available at uh, say about 35 degrees Celsius or so. It is expanding its energy and vaporizing. Okay. So the, what is called as evaporative cooling is happening. The same kind of cooling is happening in this cooling tower. So let's say hot water at some 50, 55 degrees Celsius is entering and it is going to leave at some 35 degrees Celsius. So about a drop of about 20 degrees Celsius which is uh, happening because of say cold water, uh, sorry, because of air entering. So the atmospheric air you can consider to be available at 35 degrees Celsius. So which is entering. Of course, it is entering with a different humidity. So maybe around some 60% uh, relative humidity. And it is going to leave uh, at a condition of say about uh, 40 uh, or 45 degrees Celsius. And uh, with a higher uh, percentage humidity, about 90-95% uh, percentage humidity. So otherwise, this air yeah, temperature is also getting raised and its humidity can uh, its moisture can is also getting raised. So otherwise, what is happening? There is a uh, transfer of heat from uh, water to air. Uh, that is easily understandable because water is at 55 degrees Celsius, air is at uh, 35 degrees Celsius. So definitely there is a heat transfer possible. You know, the heat transfer is simply easily understandable. Uh, the easiest subject in our chemical engineering is heat transfer. Hmm? Uh, Whereas the other thing is mass transfer. What is happening? Uh, uh, is a cooling process is not only due to heat transfer, it is also mass transfer. So uh, where is the transfer of mass? So water is available in the form of liquid here. It has to, uh, it is also going to this vapor because so as to saturate the uh, air. Air is available at a humidity of say 60%. It can saturate, it can go up to 90, 100% saturation. Uh, so, uh, 
in, in a process of saturating this uh, water uh, air uh, with water vapor so there is a cooling happening in what way so this uh, water has to turn to vapor so there is uh, there is a vaporization happening or what is called as evaporation happening so this evaporation is happening uh, by utilizing the energy of the water itself because water is only the av available at the higher temperature in comparison to the all the other uh, points say dry air is entering at this uh, point so which is available at 35 degrees celsius and warm air is leaving at some 45 degrees celsius this hot water is entering at 55 and it is leaving at 35 okay so only uh, rise the uh, material which is available or which is available at a higher uh, internal energy you no know? it's nothing but your hot water so by spending its own energy uh, its uh, temperature is reducing a lot otherwise the evaporative cooling is uh, having a higher share in the heat removal process uh, this we can uh, of course understand uh, with a calculation as well but before going to this calculation we should also understand a lot of other terminologies hmm? okay uh, to simply say this cooling tower cooling is happening not only by sensible cooling sensible cooling of air uh, cooling with air but also by but not only there is a major share of cooling is happening by evaporative cooling of water okay is it understandable Bob? can you any of you rephrase or uh, can any of you uh, uh, explain this process of course i have already uh, given this with your own words you can uh, repeat can any of you want to try this okay i think many are trying or uh, no problem hmm? uh, because i cannot wait uh, for uh, your response uh, because uh, we are having very limited time hmm? we, uh, normally i used to finish this uh, for, for first test portion in a time of about 15 hours whereas uh, uh, now i am given with very less time in the in my first batch i was uh, uh, two or uh, 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 two year back i was given with about uh, 60 hours for handling the subject and last year about uh, say 45 hours only because of initial 20 hours in the form of physical classes the rest about uh, uh, 25 classes in the way of uh, recorded lectures and uh, some zoom, zoom zoom interactions that way only we had this uh, coverage in the last year whereas this year we are not sure at least initial uh, till test two definitely will be having through zoom uh, till test two will be having hardly about some uh, what is it uh, some 20 sessions 20 sessions like we need to cover two third of the syllabus which is a huge task okay uh, let me see any calculation is there here oh, okay it is not available uh, that i will uh, that i am having in the next uh, presentation before that let us see the terminologies oh, okay quickly uh, quickly we'll go through uh, starting from this uh, first slide itself so humidification is happening naturally. I'll uh, control Yella. Yeah, right. Uh, humidification is naturally happening because of uh, this air is having uh, at least whatever the air surrounding is not always saturated. It is having uh, lesser amount of water vapor in comparison to the maximum it can hold. Uh, of course, maximum it can hold is only about uh, roughly about one percent or two percent water vapor. At least in, in terms of mass percentage, this uh, for one kg of uh, air, you can see only about uh, uh, how much two uh, percent, which means 0 0.02 kg of air, uh, water. There is a maximum uh, water uh, air can hold. If it is exceeding, uh, is, uh, it will be uh, it is called as it will be reaching to uh, 100 percent uh, relative humidity. And more uh, any any amount of water vapor more than this saturation will definitely condense in the form of what is it uh, what is it right hmm? okay it's a, uh, this natural phenomena is very fantastic and uh, i think we can uh, uh, we should appreciate the pro wonderful properties of water uh, all these uh, nice uh, properties you know water is having you know uh, this without water we can we can't think of anything you know uh, of course nowadays we are also seeing this uh, plastic without plastic also we cannot live <laughs> that's the other thing uh, Okay, this terminology, what is called as relative saturation or relative humidity. Uh, of course, this screen title is visible upon because I am seeing a lot of uh, the zoom controls here. So, relative saturation or relative humidity, which is uh, simply this partial pressure of water vapor, water vapor in the air divided by vapor pressure of water. Vapor pressure of water vapor. Water, uh, water. Vapor pressure of water means vapor pressure of a liquid. So, here the liquid is water. And uh, how this form, 
uh aris why this uh, maximum amount is uh, equal to that of the proportional to that of the vapor pressure and that and all you have to study in your thermodynamics uh, possibly in your fifth semester you will be studying about this uh formula how this formula is coming about okay now you can simply take this formula for granted relative saturation refers to simply partial pressure of water vapor to uh, vapor pressure of water vapor of course since this uh, vapor pressure is a function of temperature so this relative saturation or what is called as relative humidity this relative saturation is a general terminology which means uh, a, a vapor in a gas you know the difference between vapor and gas no gas is uh, easily not liquid by fable whereas vapor can be easily brought to liquid state of course uh, the conditions and all you will get to know in your thermodynamics not to worry much about that so amount of a vapor in a gas divided by uh the maximum amount of uh, vapor in a gas so the maximum amount of vapor in a gas is given by this uh, vapor pressure uh you know these are all in, in terms of pressure ratio how this is uh, affecting in, in terms of your moles you no know, that we can get to you know uh you know because, because in pressure pressure what is the connection between the pressure and uh, this humidity you know, humidity refers to the amount of uh, material per uh, total air hmm? so how do you connect this uh, partial pressure and moles pa can any of you guess the answer there is a nice uh, relay reason for this uh, uh, this ratio of uh, vapor uh, is partial pressure by vapor pressure can also be equated to what is it uh, it absorbs or you can say in terms of moles of water vapor by uh, moles of air okay there is a terminology coming out uh, Uh, so uh, the thing is since the vapor pressure is a function of temperature so this relative saturation depends on uh, temperature okay relative humidity is a function of temperature it's not uh, constant uh, always uh, with the same amount of moisture uh, if you heat the uh, total contents uh, at a higher temperature the relative humidity will be less because at a higher temperature this vapor pressure will be going out whereas the uh, partial pressure is nothing but the in proportion to the already amount present so you'll see that relative uh, saturation will decrease at higher temperature always there is a relation here no always uh, you take the same uh, you have some uh, air water mixture or uh, what is it uh, water vapor uh, air mixture if you heat the contents uh, at a higher temperature you'll see that uh, the humidity of the contents no total contents is getting reduced uh, the reason is of of course the denominator is increasing so definitely uh the relative humidity has to decrease simply we can say that okay all these we discuss it involves a simultaneous transfer of mass and heat uh there is a predominant heat transfer is due to transfer of mass transfer of mass is happening because the air is at lesser saturation it can hold more moisture for uh, taking the more moisture uh, there is a evaporation happening which is happening at the expense of the liquid temperature okay simple explanation okay let us see the terminologies uh, like uh, molar humidity so okay and we see we have written in terms of say partial pressure of uh, this w refers to water a refers to air okay uh, this uh, new uh, uh, this p as such refers to simply partial pressure of water and p uh, of a refers to partial pressure of air uh, this uh, p without any subscript is referring to the total pressure okay so uh our total pressure is made up of two uh, partial pressures one is air and another is water so this uh our if you subtract this uh, to, uh, water 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 partial pressure with from the total you'll be getting the partial pressure of air that's why this pa is simply p minus pw and this can be simply equated to the ratio of moles of water by moles of air there was a question i asked in the previous slide can any of you answer now i will give, give you a simple guess uh, a simple clue uh, ideal gas equation you can use ideal gas equation uh i cannot uh, get the answer huh? okay may many many of you may be thinking at least fine uh, so thing is uh, you know this pv equal to rt at a given temperature this uh, what is it at a given temperature and volume you can easily relate uh, this p is proportional to n yeah at a given volume and temperature so in that way only it is uh, this n and uh, n refers to moles and p refers to uh, pressure here uh, in terms of subscript it is partial pressure and it is total pressure 
100 percent is made up of two components. So if you subtract this water, the partial pressure, then you'll be getting partial pressure of air. So uh, otherwise, the ratio is simply uh, moles of vapor, moles of uh, vapor is here, the water vapor, moles of dry air. Why it is dry air? Because P minus PW, which is simply PA. Otherwise, uh, uh, it is, the denominator is not simply the air, it is dry air, okay? Uh, which means it is air alone uh, without uh, excluding water vapor uh, content. And this absolute humidity. Absolute humidity will uh, multiply this with this, uh, what is it? Uh, molecular weight data. Or is moles will be converted into weight. Moles into molecular weight is simply weight. So MW refers to molecular weight of water. And MA refers to molecular weight of air. So you know molecular weight of water is uh, 18 and, uh, and that of air is simply 29. So you can convert this to in terms of absolute humidity. And another terminology is percentage humidity. Of course, uh, there is a difference between this percentage humidity and relative humidity. We will see that. So percentage humidity refers to uh, what is the actual molar humidity of the uh, water vapor to the uh, molar humidity at saturation, which means at saturation, this PW will be simply PW sat saturation. So otherwise, the water vapor is available to the maximum extent in the air. Okay, uh, in that way, Okay, there is a cost, uh, PV equal to NRT. Yeah, Jalsri, nice one. Thanks for uh, the answer. See here, uh, uh, yeah, again, N moles into molecular weight will get this weight. And this is percentage humidity, simply uh, the absolute hum uh, humidity. Uh, this can be in terms of molar or uh, molar, uh, molar absolute or simply uh, the mass absolute also. It doesn't matter because it is again the ratio only. So this, uh, up, uh, this what is it? Mole actual absolute humidity to the absolute saturation humidity. At saturation, this PW is nothing but PW saturation. Or is it is a maximum amount of water vapor that can be present in the air. Uh, any anything extra present will be definitely condensing in the form of rain, or it will be forming a precipitate. Now that's why this. Uh, Condensation is happening in the winter season, in the morning, if you see in the early morning, even though uh, you would not have seen, uh, you would not, there would not be any rain in the night time, you will see there is a deposit of this mist uh, or uh, you will see this uh, dews. Uh, this is because of, uh, what is it, the changes in the air temperature, surrounding temperature uh, from the 28 to, say, uh, in the daytime temperature of about 30, 32 temperature, it is trying to, uh, reducing to some 25, 28. Uh, otherwise, the uh, air is getting saturated because uh, easily getting saturated because of the surrounding uh, temperature is lesser. The corresponding saturation uh, vapor pressure is also lesser. So, uh, the anything extra is getting uh, deposited. Okay. Uh, that all I cannot elaborate now because we have limited time. Uh, another about uh, half an hour maximum. In that, we need to finish this uh, slide as well as the next slide. Hmm? So percentage humidity is simply the ratio of absolute humidity by absolute humidity at saturation. And uh, in what way this is different from relative humidity? Now, relative humidity is simple uh, thing. It doesn't have anything about, uh, uh, this is simply saying about partial pressure by partial pressure at saturation. Uh, whereas here, uh, if you see this Hache, Hache is, uh, what is it, P uh, W by P minus P W divided by Hache saturation is going to be P W sat minus P by P minus PW sat. So this will be uh, definitely different than that of relative humidity. But there are minor differences, not much difference. At least uh, the relative humidity is about some uh, 80 percent. The percentage humidity may be some uh, two or three percentage, maybe lesser or uh, higher. I don't know exactly uh, that we can uh, see that in your chapter, what is called as humidification in your mass transfer. Okay, now. Uh, yeah, there are, uh, so if you simply measure the temperature of this uh, air, surrounding air, ambient air, uh, you'll see there is a temperature recorded. And if you cover this thermometer with a wet wick, huh, uh, that means you can have a connection of water from a well. Uh, and this uh, water is going through to this uh, bulb surrounding by the way of this, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, simply it is passing through a wet week. So this surround in here, you'll see uh, there is a wet cloth covering this uh, thermometer bulb. So because of this, you'll see there is a reduction of temperature actually. Uh, why it is happening? Because uh, because of the, here you have a 100% saturated water. 
So the surrounding air, if it is lesser saturated, lesser saturation, uh, there is a uh, chance or is a tendency for this liquid to vaporize. In that way, it is trying to reduce the nearby air temperature. So otherwise, the ambient air will be in comparison to this uh, thermometer uh, reading. Here you will see the ambient temperature recorded by this uh, thermometer is actually slightly lesser uh, in proportion to the uh, surrounding air humidity. Okay. Otherwise, in the summer, you will see the difference between this dry bulb and wet bulb thermometers are appreciable about after about uh, 4 5 degrees or 5, 5 7 degrees Celsius also. Whereas in the winter, you will see the difference is not so uh, appreciable. The reason is uh, because the surrounding air itself is already uh, saturated. Uh, you will see the, the, the air is having higher amount of moisture content. Or is per, the percentage humidity is higher. Percentage humidity or percentage uh, relative humidity is higher. So because of that, uh, uh, is not uh, you, you won't see in, uh, nothing uh, much appreciable uh, the difference between the wet dry bulb and wet bulb. Even that's why the reason between this uh, first question. No? Uh, you, you won't see much difference between the temperature of this uh, what is it, mud pot water and uh, steel pot water in the winter. Because the difference, what is called as this uh, dry bulb and wet bulb difference is not much. Uh, of course, the reason is uh, the surrounding air is already saturated. Uh, so this water in this mud pot is not having the tendency to vaporize to the appreciable extent. Okay. Uh, is it clear, Bob? Are you able to understand the answer? Okay, you can expect this kind of questions in the coming test. Hmm? So, dew point, what is uh, so this? Uh, so far, we have seen a lot of terminology. Let us recollect. So, the simply ab molar absolute humidity, which is moles of water, uh, water vapor by moles of dry air. And absolute humidity refers to kg of water vapor by kg of dry air. And percentage humidity refers to uh, this humidity of the uh, uh, water vapor by humidity of the water vapor at saturation. Okay, always which is a function of temperature uh, at saturation because it depends on this uh, PSAT and all. And uh, the relative humidity already we have come across which is partial pressure by partial pressure at saturation. This is also a function of temperature. Of course, everything is uh, definitely a function of temperature no? because uh, at least this need not be function of temperature. It's simply moles and moles the ratio uh, here this percentage humidity definitely a function of temperature okay here the, uh, uh, the uh, tribal temperature is normal temperature if, if you simply take a thermometer and uh, simply show to the RV ambient here whatever is recorded is called as a dry bulb temperature that is the most uh, recording we'll be having whereas uh, in uh, this uh, uh, estimating the performance of your cooling tower and all we'll normally have a wet bulb thermometer and we can ex expect how much cooling is possible. Or we can estimate how much cooling is possible in the weather conditions. Because if the difference between dry bulb and wet bulb is very appreciable, then we can expect a lot of cooling happening. Otherwise, this cooling tower will perform better in summer season. Whereas in winter, the cooling uh, affected by this uh, cooling tower is not appreciable. Okay. Otherwise, this uh, mass cooling by mass transfer, what is called as evaporative cooling, is getting reduced in comparison to that in summer. Okay, what is the dew point temperature? So it's a temperature at which water gas mixture becomes saturated. Otherwise, uh, so you have a water gas mixture. If you keep on reduce the temperature of the contents, you'll see that, uh, you'll see uh, there is a formation of droplets. Uh, otherwise, uh, you are reducing the uh, temperature, which means the uh, you are reducing the maximum amount of water vapor it can hold. Otherwise, uh, you are trying to increase the uh, percentage or you are trying to increase the relative humidity by the way of cooling the contents. Say, uh, it's having the connection from here. No? Say, uh, this, uh, you have this, some water vapor content. Uh, what you are now doing, uh, because of reduction of the temperature, the PSAT is keep on decreasing. Say, at 35 degrees Celsius, uh, you have a vapor pressure. At 25 degrees Celsius, you have a lesser vapor pressure. So, because of that, the denominator is getting reduced. Whereas, the numerator is simply the same, which is simply the partial pressure. So, since the denominator is getting uh, de uh, decreasing, uh, so you'll see the relative saturation is uh, becoming more and more. And if the saturation is re reaching 100%, that means definitely you'll see uh, formation of dew. Now, that's what is the reason for your, uh, uh, for you to see people seeing this kind of uh, water droplets on the let's say this uh, any chilled uh, container, chilled container. Like uh, if you take this uh, ice in a uh, tumbler, 
uh, ice cubes in the tumbler so it's already having some water or something or if you simply take ice cubes we will see after about a few minutes itself we will see uh, this uh, water droplets uh, you know the, this water is not uh, getting say, uh, passing through this uh, glass or is there is no seepage of water but this water vapor is coming uh, this droplets are coming from the deposits of uh, what is it uh, water vapor from the air otherwise this glass surface is now at a temperature of dew point temperature okay is it understandable pa uh, i think i am trying to explain all these points with uh, a simple way so at the dew point of course uh, this dry bulb and uh, wet bulb and dew point temperature everything will be same okay so at dew point deep a uh, dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature are the same because already dew point means dp equal to dpt dpt refers to dry bulb temperature wpt refers to wet bulb temperature okay otherwise there is always a difference uh, always the highest temperature is dry bulb and next one is wet bulb and uh, next uh, the lowest one will be the dew point and why this is and all you will uh, the explanation and all is available in your uh, humidification topic uh, okay i need not elaborate now because uh, a lot more you will study in your uh, mass transfer subject okay now okay this are all the thing uh cooling towers are definitely used in chemical industry because you have uh, what is it uh, the need for a larger amount of cooling in a industry or uh, you can simply take the water from any pond and you can uh, circulate to any uh, devices which are releasing heat uh, but you cannot simply leave that uh, exit water to water bodies again so you have to bring back the temperature to that of the uh, original for that you are uh sending the water through this uh, mechanism what is called as cooling tower and air is taking the heat and it is going to the atmosphere so otherwise now you can imagine how much of uh, heat will be dissipated to the ambient from any power plant not only from power plant even this chemical industry is also releasing large amount of heat to the atmosphere so this is also what is called as uh, so what is it ena solla pa global warming hmm? so global warming actually the originally it is happening uh, by carbon dioxide increase but not only that even water vapor uh, is also uh, leading to a lot of global warming but normally we uh, don't uh, consider this water vapor increase to be a reason for global warming because whatever the water vapor uh, increase or water vapor going out will definitely come out, come back in the form of rain no rain we also call it as uh, the god's gift lya yeah. you know about this tirukural pa திருக்குறள்ல இந்த மலை நூறு அதிகாரம் இருக்குல்ல வான் சிறப்பு திருக்கு தமிழ் யாருப்பா நல்லா கிரேட் இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருக்கிற ஆளுங்கெல்லாம் இருப்பீங்களா அவர் தமிழ் அவர் காலேஜ் ஹேவிங் நைஸ் தமிழ் மன்றம் வடிச நைம் ஆஃப் அவர் தமிழ் மன்றம் ஆஹ் நல்ல நேம் இல்லப்பா குட் ஆஹ் சாரல் தமிழ் மன்றம் யாராவது பார்ட்டிசிபேட் பண்ணீங்களாப்பா எனி ஆஃப் யூ கேவ் எனி ஸ்பீச் இன் த ரீசன்ட் இன்ஸ்டிங்ஸ் இன்ஸ்டிங்ஸ் நடந்துச்சு தெரியுமா இன்ஸ்டிங்ஸ் வந்து யுகேஷ் இஸ் ட்ரைங் no sir uh, ah, ah, i ah, 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 mistakenly no problem no problem see welcome see uh, this uh, our uh, we have a nice uh, this uh, club no? tamil man saral tamil man uh, again i forget what he <laughs> are to tell so where uh, where i start this okay so this is happening in industry fine uh, next we will go to ah uh, so this are all understandable now at least yeah should be understandable now now Uh, we should uh, quantify this hmm? uh, so far we have qualitatively said there is a large cooling happening in the industry uh, in the chemical industry in and power plant so there is a large amount of water uh, going to the atmosphere okay okay we'll see that how much is going on okay this is a process easily understandable there is a heat uh, transfer process say so, why uh, water is entering at 50 and we are going to going it to 35 by uh, exchange in the heat with uh, air which is entering at 30 and leaving at 45 okay uh, this is uh, you can work out this energy balance so what is it uh, this mcb delta t refers to the energy given by water is nothing but the energy taken by air this is uh, is it understandable pa simple so what is the delta t for uh, water here can any of you work out and let me know there is nothing working working out simply based on that diagram itself you can say கௌதம் கௌதம் இல்லையா கௌதம் அண்ட் மெனி அதர்ஸ் ஆல்சோ ட்ரைங் தேங்க்யூ 
the same amount you know i have uh, for simplicity i give the same amount of uh, temperature rise for y r uh, but uh, okay this is happening in a indirect way always you will send this water in a tube and surrounding tube will have air uh, so this is what is uh, the normal heat transfer process in, in industry uh, say for uh, cooling of any fluid normally we will circulate this uh, air or water so by that way you can easily achieve this heat transfer this you have seen this in your laboratory also in the uh, for condensation of uh, what is it any vapor you will circulate this water and you will see the vapor is turning to liquid and uh, uh, whatever the latent heat is given by or is taken to latent heat is taken by the circulating water or sometimes you will also have uh, a yeah, air condenser also okay so let us see how much is a uh, uh the arrest for 1 kg of water for its temperature to reduce we need to remove 4.2 kilojoules okay this is the color what is it latent heat of not latent heat specific heat of water specific heat of liquid water okay we are only trying to reduce the temperature of liquid water and specific heat of air uh specific heat of air is a nice number so one point actually it is 1.008 or so you can simply take just one uh, which is kilojoules per kg degree celsius and what is the specific heat of water in terms of calorie pa specific heat of water in calories any of you trying simple answer i will always ask for simple answer uh, even if you are sleeping also you can uh, simply say some answer like 1 and 0 most of the time the answers are correct so what is answer here i already gave the answer pa chulunga what is the answer of uh, specific heat of water in terms of calorie per uh, gram degree celsius some chart uh, chart kuda type pannala pa those who could not uh, uh unmute your audio okay uh, simple answer one and uh, calorie the definition of calorie is from, from that one you know uh, calorie is the uh, amount of heat needed to rise the temperature of water by 1 degree celsius so one uh, and uh, uh, what luckily water is having uh, that uh, is say all this the uh, specific heat definitions are uh, are this calorie definitions are normally from water even this uh, density most of the time it's water is having nice values always 1 1 1 Okay, in terms of uh, joule, actually for air it is nice number one uh, one kilo joules per kg degree Celsius. So now we can easily say that for the equal amount of temperature uh, change, you can say that for uh, one kg of water, roughly about four point two kg is are roughly about four times you need to circulate four uh, kg of air you have to circulate for one kg of water. Yeah, is it right, Pam? So that is to be precise, it is four point two kg of air per kg of water. now i'll ask another nice question of course data is available right here uh, say it, uh, you can easily send 1 kg of water uh, passing through a tube but to circulate uh, 1 kg of air you need to have a large uh, volume pipe then only because its density is so less about 1000 times lesser so which means uh, to circulate uh, one uh, to send 1 kg of air you need to have a very huge diameter pipe uh, uh, say at the same uh, time conditions Add for one kg of one kg per second of uh, water and one kg per second of air. If you see uh, this uh, density difference is huge after about thousand times. Otherwise, if, it, if it, uh, this water can be passed through some fifty mm uh, diameter pipe, for air we need to have a larger diameter pipe after about point uh, five meter or even higher. Uh, the reason is the density is lesser. Otherwise, for the, we need to send uh, the uh, Let's say uh, what is it uh, for one kg of water? We need to send about some for four point two times a uh, year, uh, which means always uh, in terms of ma mass, okay, its uh, numbers are uh, comparable. But in terms of volume, hmm? because volume only is the, the thing uh, affecting your uh, space requirement. So you need to have a large uh, heat exchanger to make this heat transfer process. Okay, is is it understandable, pa? So we need to circulate say four thousand two hundred liter. So, if you want to have for uh, for one liter of uh, water, you need to have four thousand two hundred liter of air. Okay, so which is definitely you can easily understand. Four thousand two hundred liter. Remember the other size. Remember the particular thing. In terms of barrel, how much pa? It will be. It's a barrel because in uh, first uh, assignment I gave this uh, question like what is the size of one barrel. Now, always we will try to connect these questions, no, so that you won't forget these questions ever. 
தமிழ்ல சொல்லுவாங்களப்பா பிப்பாய் நம்ம வில்லேஜ் சைட்ல பீப்புள் யூஸ் சே லைக் இந்த குண்டா இருக்கிற அளவுல சொல்லுவாங்க பெரிய பீப்பாய் அப்படிமாங்க இல்லையா சோ பீப்பாய் இஸ் ஆக்சுவலி பேரல் பேரல் மாதிரி உருள மாதிரி இருக்காங்கன்னு சொல்லி இப்ப நம்ம நிறைய இதெல்லாம் கூட பாத்துக்கோங்க காமெடியன்ஸ் யூஸ் டு யூஸ் தட் ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட்ஸ் ஓகே ஒன் பிப்டி நைன் லிட்டர் தெர் இஸ் அ பேரல் சைஸ் டு ரீகலெக்ட் தோஸ் ஆர் ட்ரைங் ஓகே நவ் திஸ் அண்ட் ஆல்ரெடி எலாபரேட்டட் வாட் இஸ் இட் யா வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டாட்டிஸ்டிக் கால்குலேஷன் ஆஸ் வைக் பட் டோன்ட் ஒரி அபவுட் திஸ் கால்குலேஷன் ஐ வாண்ட் ஆஸ்க் திஸ் கால்குலேஷன்ஸ் பட் த சமரி வில் பி டிஸ்கஸ்ட் ஓகே சமரி ஐ கேன் ஆஸ்க் ஐ வில் பட் டெஃபினெட்லி ஐ வில் மேக் எ டிஸ்கஷன் நவ் சே there are a lot of other connections here in the dairy sat 30 degree celsius with say 60 percent relative humidity and let us assume the exit dairy sat 45 degree celsius with 90 percent humidity definitely the humidity is getting raised because of uh there is a uh, uh, chance for this air to get saturated because there is a direction of there is a direction of mass transfer so in the dairy is of lesser humidity outlet will be of higher humidity uh so there is a direction of uh, process otherwise uh, whenever there is uh the tendency Uh, there is uh, whenever there is a lesser uh, constituent available there is a direction of mass transfer Di- mass transfer happens in the direction try to trying to saturate the process saturate the combustion so earlier initially the saturation is lesser only about 60% now the saturation is going up to about 90 or even higher up to 100% okay now so these calculations are available i can go through later and i will simply give a summary hmm? say with uh, because of this uh, kind of air uh, at the inlet and outlet you will see uh, that say with 1 kg of uh, amount of water picked up per kg of air so always with 1 kg of if you send 1 kg of air uh, corresponding to this inlet of 60% and outlet of 90% you will see a uh, amount of water picked up uh, in the air is about 0.04 kg so always 1 kg of air is taking about Uh, 0.04 kg it can hold uh, as much as about 0.04 so how much in terms of percentage it is roughly about same 4 percentage coming to 4 percentage yeah 4 kg so 4 percentage means uh, 0.04 kg of water per kg of air so 4 percentage of water is uh, there in the air otherwise it can take uh, initially if you can see take this 0 percent and uh, it is taking say 4 percentage of water say here uh, let us you have to come we are going to compare this sensible cooling and latent cooling, heat cooling say sensible cooling is say for a 15 degree celsius drop with 4.2 celsius specific heat we have a specific energy removal of 63 kJ per kg and in terms of latent heat so the we need to know about this latent heat data in the range of 30 to 45 degree celsius this latent heat is uh let me get a fair precision which is for water to turn to uh, water vapor which is 6 2400 roughly about you can 2500 or 2250 there are data uh, this data are normally you are getting from what is called as a steam table hmm? maybe you will be using this in your basic mechanical engineering course okay uh, say water to be vaporized so always water to be vaporized for so always we need to remove 63 kJ always we are uh, simply basic making a basis of basis of 1 kg of water entry and uh, from 1 kg of what is there is a basis let me check it uh yeah supposed to be 1 kg of water okay we'll get that is, uh, uh, yeah this is per kg of air 0.04 kg of water has to be picked up so per kg of air this basis is per kg of air and we need we are going to remove this much of heat uh this is in terms of sensible cooling if you want to make uh, this will be the possible with kg of air whereas uh, with the uh, evaporative cooling this much of yeah, uh, heat will be taken per kg of water vaporization so uh, actually uh, uh, yeah, yeah, i feel like uh, we, since we have lesser time i cannot elaborate this so if you, if you, you can those who can understand please go through the calculation uh, so with uh, indirect heat transfer arrangement what is called as having this water in a tube and the air in another circulating surrounding tube you need 4.2 kg of what the air per kg of water this is easily understandable because of the specific heat ratio whereas the direct contact arrangement which means water and air are brought into intimate contact hmm? if, uh, by intimate contacting there is there is no uh, device separating this air and uh, water vapor simply we are passing this air through the wa- water so uh, by that 
uh, we need how much of uh, air? 0.62 kg of air per kg of water. See here, uh, 4.2 times of air is needed, whereas here only about 60% uh, or is 0.6 times of uh, water. So otherwise, only 15% of 4.2 kg. Otherwise, 4.2 kg, we, here we need only about 15% of that 4.2, which is only about 0.6. So otherwise, there is a huge reduction in air requirement. Of course, you need not worry about this air requirement. Air is available in plenty. You can take it. But you, we need to have an equipment designed for that uh, because you need to have a contacting between this vapor and air, this water and air. For that, you need to construct this huge tower, what is called as a cooling tower. So already you, uh, you have seen this cooling tower to be a huge in size. But uh, this is possible only because of this evaporative cooling, otherwise, which is needing only about uh, in comparison to sensible cooling, we need to have only about 15 percentage of the air to be circulated because of this evaporative cooling is taking more amount of heat. Okay, there is a huge reduction in air, air requirement, which is simply the reduction of size of the equipment because size matters a lot. Hmm? If you uh, 15 percent, you don't have the size, yeah, uh, six times, six times means okay, uh, already the uh, cooling tower is uh, of this uh, uh, larger diameter and height. If you try to have this uh, six times, again, it will lead to larger power requirement. So where is the power requirement? You need to have a huge fan to suck the air or force the air. Okay. Uh, and also uh, this space is also, space means a lot of uh, this, uh, what is it, uh, structures are there. Okay. Uh, otherwise, because of this evaporative, otherwise because of the engineered application of this uh, evaporative cooling, we have a huge reduction in size. Okay. Are you able to appreciate, Pa? Okay, we'll also post your yeah, audio relevant to this discussion in our LMS. You can uh, carefully listen to that. Uh, otherwise, also you can go through this uh, contents. Okay. And with this, we'll uh, close today's class. How much time left? Another about five minutes only left. Maybe I will ask, okay, uh, for uh, cooling of cooling towers. Cooling towers are much better than heat exchangers using ambient air as that. Okay, for justifying this, uh, you need to go through this calculation. Maybe uh, this I can ask as an assignment, but uh, I won't ask this as for the examination also, okay, test and examination. Because this is slightly slightly beyond the, the syllabus, but still uh, to appreciate this uh, process, I gave this calculation, okay. Nothing to worry about this uh, calculation, but to those who could understand this, please go through this. This is a nice uh, thing to, uh, of course, you can easily understand this, nothing to worry. This is simply connection of this humidity term terminology and this latent heat and specific heat. Hmm? Nothing uh, great, pa. Okay. Uh, uh, let, let me ask someone of you to summarize this. No? Can any of you uh, say, uh, yeah, I'll simply close this, uh, stop this sharing and ask this question. Okay. Hmm? I'll ask the question like, uh, Let's say uh, the same cooling tower, always cooling tower. So we are having this uh, for a temperature of one degree Celsius reduction of uh, water temperature. Uh, how much mass uh, is needed for one kg of water for one degree Celsius drop? Uh, how much uh, uh, air is required? Assume you can uh, take this air is also allowed to have a temperature rise of the same uh, degree Celsius. I'm asking the mass ratio, how much more mass of uh, air you need to have per kg of uh, water if you have an indirect heat exchange. 4.2. Super. Dharmesh from Jansi. Very nice. Uh, how about, ba? is this audio video clarity is fine, Dharmesh? Yes, sir. Super. Ba. Thank you. So we are able to reach across this country easily, even across the globe also you can reach. These are all possible because of Corona. Otherwise, we, would have, we won't use this device. Whereas in the real classroom, if I try to uh, discuss in the board also, uh, the last punches may, may not get this point. Whereas I could reach a distance of about 1,500 kilometers easily thanks to Zoom or thanks to Corona. We should thank, uh, thank Corona. But Corona is also having a lot of other impact. Let us not uh, worry about that. It is also giving a lot of positive things. Let us take anything for positive, then life will be uh, always uh, nice. Uh, but you should also be very safe and uh, nah, not to worry much. Okay. Uh, thanks, Dharmesh. And I will ask another question now. Uh, uh, can any of you answer what is the latent heat of uh, water? 
latent gear of vaporization of water. So are the normal dark conditions. Uh, so are the ambient conditions. Latent heat of water vaporization, uh, water. Or uh, is latent heat of vaporization of water. The question is simple. Latent heat of vaporization of water. In terms of say kilojoules per kg. Of course, in LMS itself, this lady is available. You can simply Google and get the answer. So, Dharmesh, definitely I will consider. I have to mark uh, another two, three class also. I will mark present. Hmm? So, those who are giving uh, this uh, kind of uh, answers, I will mark uh, utterance for another about two, three classes. Or if you cut any of the class also, your uh, utterance won't be affected. Won't be affected. Getting affected. Okay, any of, the, any of you people can answer this question. What is the latent gate of vibration of water? Around 260, sir. Yeah, Dharma is only again answering. 260, what is that in terms of uh, units? Kilojoule. 260, uh, uh, not uh, correct. Okay. Huh? Kilojoules per kg. Huh? But the answer is not correct. 260 number is not correct. Uh, can any of you try? Thanks, already you gave, got, got the mark. <laughs> Dharma. Sir, it is 540, uh, sir. 540 calories. Ah, ah, ah. Can you say in terms of now our, our unit, no? 540, yeah, thanks. Uh, so, 2260. Ah, fine. Sri Varsani and Aishwarya Shivakumar. Nice, nice. Thanks, ma. Thank you, people, answering. Uh, Aishwarya, Aishwarya uh, Shivakumar, uh, 2002, ma? Saravanan or Shivakumar? Yeah, who is? Yes, sir. Uh, Aishwarya? Shivakumar, sir. Uh, that means Aishwarya 2002, ah? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thanks, ma. Thanks, ma. Right. I'll mark one day ahead also, no problem. And likewise, Dharmesh Kumar also will mark. Uh, because uh, I should uh, encourage you people to answer this question. Hmm? Nice. Uh, and also, who else? And uh, our Sri Varshi, right. Okay, now, uh, another one minute left. Hmm. Uh, uh, the comparison uh, of this sensible cooling and evaporative cooling for the cooling tower. Always, uh, which one is uh, taking more heat? And uh, per kg of uh, water, how much kg of uh, air is needed if it is Sensible cooling or how much air is needed uh, in terms of latent heat uh, cooling, latent heat uh, removal. Can any of you answer this? Question is, if the uh, risk this question is already answered, but I am asking in a different way. If the cooling is happening by sensible cooling or by indirect heat exchange, uh, how much air is needed per kg of water for the same level of temperature change? Open. 4.2, Aswin Kumar, thanks. Uh, likewise, uh, with uh, water, uh, evaporation, what, uh, what is called as evaporative cooling, how much, how much is the change, uh, how much is the mass of air required? 0 0.62. 0 0.62. Actually, it is not the uh, constant number. It is for our calculation, it is coming like that. Or it's roughly about it may range from some 0.4 to 0.6, 0 0.7. Okay. Uh, only an indicative number. Okay. Please take that uh, into mind. Uh, simply for calculation, I uh, take taken the statistics, but it will be approximate around like that. Or is 42, um, or is 0.4 to 0.7 also. Okay. Thank you all for uh, carefully uh, listening to the lecture and uh, answering these questions. Uh, we will meet again on uh, Wednesday. Uh, in that class, uh, we will touch upon this uh, new topic, which is about stoichiometric calculations. So whatever we cover on that, on that class, we'll, uh, till that, we'll have for the test. Okay. And the question will be, uh, as Aldi said, like 40% for uh, in LMS, simply answering uh, this uh, multiple choice or filling the blanks or uh, what is the what else. So match the following, these kind of questions. And another 60% percentage will be through the uh, PDF uploading. Okay, this is not yet uh, uh, finalized to indicate you. Okay, see you all in the next class. Thank you. 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 Yeah, have a great week. Thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. You want to say something personally? Sir, I have a small doubt. Sir. Ah, yeah, tell me, tell me, ask me. I'm very, very happy. Sir, could you please explain uh, again how, why is the temperature of mm. in pot and silver uh, is simple. Uh, you see uh, this. Uh, mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. Mm. Yeah, the surrounding. Okay, no, no need to worry. Mm. See, uh, mud pot. I'll uh, take the diagram. Uh, I'll easily show that. 
uh, one minute i will share this and those who are uh, interested they can listen otherwise other can leave the class no problem uh, share the screen again uh, so what is happening here in uh, this uh, yeah why this uh, appreciable uh, difference is not appreciable in the winter than in the summer because say uh, this i can easily say with this uh, diagram itself is it with the bottle namo normal temperature uh, thermometer uh, the tribal thermometer and well prepared thermometer uh, this uh, uh, thermometer will read uh, this uh, ambient temperature uh, if you put surrounding with the air if you discovered with a wet week still it is regarding the ambient but ambient is now getting saturated because of the water vaporizing to the surrounding air is it understandable pa uh, yes sir yes sir uh, so uh, what is happening this air is uh, in the winter season air will be already saturated uh, nearly about uh, 90 95% or you immediately will get rain also that means what is the meaning of rain if you see rain this air is fully saturated so uh, if the air is already fully saturated this dry bulb temperature also uh, will be the same that of the wet bulb temperature because uh, always, uh, there is no need for this uh, wick at, uh, always water to vaporize to the air so otherwise only if the thing is vaporizing there will be a temperature drop so now there is no uh, such driving force so you will see that wet bulb and dry bulb and wet bulb are nearly the same or is slight difference or is always dry bulb will be higher and wet bulb will be slightly lower Uh, the same thing is happening here say uh, you know so this surrounding area is already saturated so since the air is saturated uh, uh, the tendency for this water to come out of the pores and uh, risk water to come out of the pores is natural because of the seepage otherwise this whatever the uh, water in this pores may not vaporize uh, not uh, risk uh, the vaporization is uh, not uh, uh, accelerated or is there is no tendency for vaporization because the surrounding area is already saturated so otherwise uh, that because, because of that you see that uh, uh, this water in the this part this part and uh, this mud part will be of almost the same temperature whereas in the summer definitely there is a large tendency for this water to vaporize so it is uh, at the expense of the energy of the water in the part am i able to uh, explain correctly ma is it understood yes sir i understood, I understood sir thanks ma varsini thank you how about any trip you are planning in the coming uh, see not other about two weeks uh, will uh, there be a release of lockdown clear yeah? sir uh, after uh, this corona only everything sir okay 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 see uh, even uh, i am planning for uh, making a trip soon uh, to this uh, the selam region possibly if you are interested you can also join for a trip to uh, uh, possibly a long walk uh, about some 20 25 km walk hmm? uh, of course we are afraid to come out of house also oh, uh, say no i'm not worry please experience this uh, corona also don't worry eh? okay i should not say this uh, publicly but uh, things will be uh, uh, you will like uh, or you will you can easily cope up with this situation no need to worry much okay eh? we'll see say when you so. come to vattal malaina then ah. say definitely yeah vatal mari na vandirvinga right <laughs> good i will i will also see that uh, thank you we'll see sometime soon thank you sir thank you thank you okay i'm closing pa uh, why this sir, one doubt ah uh, why this tell me pa uh for question doubt sir yeah okay ask me in the, in the topic uh, on the assignment some the calculate the per capita land mm. availability in india the right first nice question tell me pa adu eppadi sir pa enna approach onnu illa pa etra etra percent available land you know the land area mm india oda land area in terms of million square kilometer you will be knowing ha huh? india land area kuduthirukku 3.28 ah adhe kuduthirukku illa na google panikala india oda population theriyum So what is the meaning of uh, per capita land availability? Land in uh, square meter divided by number of persons. In a sense, land. Yeah. Per, what is the meaning of per capita? Anything per capita means per person availability. So land area. How do you say in terms of square meter or square kilometer or cent? Huh? So per capita. So per capita. No. Like in a formula. So anything per capita means per person. So, uh, so per capita. Anything means. You know, so wrong. Uh, so, so much of uh, rupees per person. Okay, okay. So per capita, I'll say per person always. The capita is uh, who is that capita person. So okay. Under, under, ah. uh, 
land order one minute pa one minute pa konja careful ah paathukonga andha kannadi kannadi mela undraru ma ha ena paathena illa na ana kaaravana pinna edutra konja suriyenga paathu ha ha paathu paathu ஆ இவங்க பக்கத்துல சொன்னீங்களா அவங்க பக்கத்துல சொன்னீங்களா செக்ரட்டரிட்ட இல்ல சொல்லுங்க இதெல்லாம் ஏனா ஏனா காமன் மரம் இது சரியா ஆனா இப்ப பப்பாளி கூட யாரே இருந்து இருக்காங்க இப்ப انا அதே மாதிரி முருக மரத்தை நிறைய உடிச்சிங்க உடிக்காதீங்க அவளோ இல்ல இல்ல டெய்லி பண்ணாதீங்க போ அன்னைக்கு பண்ணீங்களா சரி 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 ஏனா நான் அது வளர மரம் அதலாம் ஆ சரி பா थैங்க்ஸ் மா அவ்வளவுதான்பிளிட்டி <laughs> 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 Uh, I think uh, you you are, you 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 were sort of answered the question. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that will uh, uh, be the answer. What else should we do? Yeah, answer is uh, you express in number number nice number. Say so much of uh, meter square per uh, person. Ah, uh, so much of cents per person. These are all the uh, understandable uh, figure, no? You know, you cannot say simply like so much of square kilometer per uh, person. So that's what I. Okay. So you can say like some so much of square meter available per person. Or uh, so much of square feet. No, you know the your house area, no, thousand square feet per uh, family. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. the area available. Likewise, how much is the land available per person? So in terms of agricultural, uh, residential, entire area of the land, hmm? India. Okay, sir. One nice. more note, sir. Hmm? sir. Kelinga pa, kelinga pa. Uh, prove that one ton of refrigeration is equal to mm-hmm. kilo mm-hmm. calorie per minute. Yeah, nice. Hamma. அதுல வந்து நோட்னு சொல்லிட்டு 1 ஷார்ட் டன் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு 200 எல்.ப. 2000 2000 பவுண்ட் ஆமா 2000 எல்.ப. ஆஃப் ஐஸ் அப்புறம் ஆமா ஹீட் ஆஃப் மெல்டிங் ஆஃப் ஐஸ் இஸ் ஈக்குவல் டு 80 கிலோ கேலரி பெர் கேஜி கரெக்ட் ஆஃப் மெல்டிங் ஆஃப் ஐஸ் கரெக்ட் ஆமா பிராக்கெட்ல கொடுத்துருக்கீங்க ஆமா ஆமா என்ன ஃபார்முலா அது என்னன்னா வாட் இஸ் தி மீனிங் ஆஃப் டன் ஆஃப் ரெஃப்ரிஜரேஷன் இட் இஸ் so much of energy removed per time okay Say, it is nothing but the uh, amount of cooling produced pa so much of energy removed per time adha vandu ton of refrigeration no? so inga edukaga ton of refrigeration always it is nothing but the uh, power rating of the refrigerator the so, uh, power rating of the air conditioner okay air conditioning system is given in terms of tons of refrigeration this ton is simply associated with the ton of uh, ice uh, used for this uh, process actually this one ton is normally uh, this 1000 kg correct ah Yes, sir. Thousand. But uh, here, uh, since uh, uh, originally the cooling was uh, produced by melting of ice, and uh, people of this uh, American, they were using this uh, terminology. They have this uh, ton as one short ton. See, one short ton is actually two thousand pound. Two thousand hmm? pound. Ah, uh, one pound. You know, this is four fifty-four grams. Correct, na? So if you convert this two yes, thousand pound, it will be like nine hundred seven kg. So this much of mass ice is available. okay okay sir and this ice is getting melted in a time of 24 hours okay so uh, that means what is the cooling possible so the melting for the melting how much is what is the energy getting uh, to be released that is nothing but the latent heat of melting so 907 kg multiplied by say this uh, 50 kcal per uh, not 50 kcal 80 kcal per kg that is, let, that is that is a latent heat of uh, melting of ice so that that energy is now uh, taken away from the air conditioner room mm. so th- this is the energy removal what is the time time period time period is 24 hours uh, 24 hours and what is uh, minutes per hour so 24 into 60 there is so much of minutes per day is available okay, okay. so now 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 we itself we can work out so 2000 pound multiplied by 450.454 it is 907 kg multiplied by 80 kilocalorie per kg you will be having that 
அது கால்குலேட் பண்ண 50 வந்துரும் ஆ டிவைட் பை திஸ் 24 இன் 60 கேட்டிங் யா 50 பாயிண்ட் சம் சம்திங் வித் தட் 50 அது एक्चुअली லைக் எப்படி நீங்க எப்படி அத 9 ஓகே ஷார்ட் டைம்ல அது புரிஞ்சு ரைட் இன்டு 80 போட்டு எப்படி அது பண்ணீங்க அது என்ன லீட்டிங்கிறது அதான் யா சே எனர்ஜி ரிமூவல் பா மாஸ் இன்டு லேட்டன் ஹீட் இஸ் எனர்ஜி ரைட்டா ஓ மாஸ் இன்டு லேட்டன் ஹீட் பை ஆ ஆ அதான் சிம்பிளா ரைட்டா ஓகே நைஸ் நைஸ் थैங்க்ஸ் ஃபார் தி ஆஸ்கிங் திஸ் क्वेश्चन அண்ட் கெட்டிங் கிளாரிஃபைட் சூப்பர் ஓகே Now, why this? Where are you from, Pa? I'm Arthur. I just. Ah, good one, Jerry, sir. Ah, good one, Jerry. I'm from Tanjavur. So, you know, parents are from Tanjavur. Ah. Tanjavur, where are you, Pa? At Kerala, sir. Like. Yeah. Where are you from? Where are you from? Illa, sir. Like, from where? Where are you from? Last. Last. Ah. Two years. Two years. Yeah, two years. Man, Pa. I'm from Tamil Nadu. Tamil Nadu. At least, Tamil Nadu. I'll explore. No. Hmm. Yeah. 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 Chennai. Chennai. I'm not going to. Tamil Nadu. Only. Chennai is only about uh, say one seventh of the population is uh, there in the Chennai. the major uh, area is in the southern ellathiyum uh, explore pannunga pa nariya enga padichinga pa why this inga pakkathile vidya vandu restaurant ama super 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 padikalam hmm, paakalam see so, okay 11 o'clock you have a class no you can join there okay. we will meet again in the coming class thank you see you all thank you, thank you.